Hello and welcome to Speaking, Reading, and Spelling Long English Words. Today we're looking at three, four, and even five syllables in some of the words. These are words that end with Asian or Ishin, A-T-I-O-N, I-T-I-O-N. We have a couple I-S-I-O-N words in there too, and maybe an I-C-I-O-N. Now, we will find out how to find that syllable stress in the words, so we'll know how to read it correctly. We'll learn how to spell the words, and we will practice with exercises. The endings T-I-O-N, S-I-O-N, and C-I-O-N are a combination of the letters T-I-S-I-C-I plus O-N. T-I-S-I and C-I sound like sh. Here are some three, four, and even five syllable words containing our ending. See if you can beat the computer. Also note, if spelling long words is a challenge for you, think about breaking the words down into syllables when you're writing them. It may help you to become a better speller. Shan Se Decision Da Decision Shan Pe Pishan Sus Suspicion Shan Er Urshan Co Coercion Shan May Nation for Formation Shan Se Session Pa Position Shan Ray Ration Ah Oration Sep Sep Oration Shun K Cation They Vacation Note the unstressed syllable in the next word contains the AX ax, which does retain the short A sound when combined with the X. Shun A Asian Tax Taxation Shun Te Tation Sen Sentation Prayer Presentation Shun May Mation For Formation In Information Shun Te Tation Ja Jetation 
there vegetation shan nay nation pla planation x explanation shan te titian pa petition calm competition shan se session pa position calm composition shan say Sation Ver Versation Con Conversation Shun Ray Ration Ah uh, Oration Deck Deck Oration Shun Gay Gation Re Regation Ear Irrigation Shun K Cation Low Location Shun Nay Nation Car Carnation Shan Nay Nation Ba Ba Nation Calm combination. Now we're going to read the words in unison uh, without them being broken down. So you will see the word, try to read the word before the computer reads it. Decision. Suspicion Coercion Formation Position Separation
vacation, taxation, presentation, carnation, information, vegetation, explanation, competition, composition, conversation, decoration, irrigation, location, combination. Now I would suggest that you pause the video, go back to the beginning of this, turn off the audio, and try it again without the audio. See how you do. Next, we're going to read the words in sentences. Try this one. I made a decision to give an explanation. The carnation makes a lovely decoration. We need a position for irrigation in that location. That will be a good combination for the presentation. And number five, the conversation turned to competition. Again, stop the video, rewind it, turn off the audio, and try reading them on your own. Next, we're going to practice spelling the words. You will need to have pen, paper and pencil ready Number down your list from 1 to 20. Listen to each word as I say it. Then repeat the word to yourself. Be careful with your pronunciation. Say each word syllable by syllable to yourself. And then write the word by writing one syllable at a time and saying each sound as you write the letters. Not saying the letters, but actually saying the sounds and then matching the sounds to letters as you write. So let's get started. Let me show you an example. Take the word production that we've talked about before. You would divide it by saying pro, p, r, o, duck, d, uck, and shun. And you would be writing as you say each sound. So let's begin. Here's your first word. Your first word is decision. Decision. Number two is suspicion. Number three, coercion. Now let's go back over those first three. Decision, da, si, shun, decision. Suspicion, sus, 
the shun. And number three was coercion. Co or ka, co, er, shun. Just break them up like that as you write them. And number four is formation. Number five, position. Number six, separation. Number seven, vacation. Number eight, taxation. Number nine, presentation. Number 10, carnation. Number 11, information. Number 12, vegetation. Number 13, explanation. Number 14, competition. Number 15, Composition. Number 16, Conversation. Number 17, Decoration. Number 18, Irrigation. Number 19, Location. And number 20, Combination. Now take a minute to check your spelling. Number 1. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. Number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve, number thirteen, number fourteen, number fifteen, number sixteen. Number 17, number 18, number 19, and number 20. Now pause the video for just a few minutes while you go back to make sure that your spelling is correct and then count up all of the words that you spelled correctly. Remember, we're counting across. Next, we're going to practice spelling the words in sentences. We will use the same sentences that you read a few minutes ago. So make sure you have your paper ready. 
there will be five sentences. Number one, I made a decision to give an explanation. Number two, now if you haven't quite got finished, just pause the video. Number two, the carnation makes a lovely decoration. Number three, we need a position for irrigation. in that location. Number four. That would be a good combination for the presentation. Number five, the conversation turned to competition. Now I'm going to read all five of them one more time for you. Number one, I made a decision to give an explanation. Number two, the carnation makes a lovely decoration. Number three, we need a position for irrigation in that location. Number four, that would be a good combination for the presentation. And number five, the conversation turned to competition. All right, let's check your spelling on your sentences. Pause for just a moment. Pause the video and make sure that you check each sentence against yours and find out how many words you spelled correctly. Now count up the number of words you did spell correctly. There are 36 words in all of the sentences combined. So if you spelled 34 of them correctly, you earned a 95%. 32 would be a 90% and so forth. So why don't you see how well you did? Because in the end, memorizing a list and understanding the fundamentals of how words are built is what you will need to be able at the end of the game to write. And that's our goal, to be able to write anything we want to, whatever's on our mind. So congratulations, you have now finished your lesson. You will have earned your stars for the finishing the lesson today. And I hope you'll come back another day for another lesson soon. There will be several more. But before you leave, if you really are interested in learning more about how these long words are put together and how their meanings are affected by the endings that they have, stick around for another minute or two and I have more to tell you. You see, shun, shun, and shun are endings we add to verbs to turn them into a noun. And they turn an action or state of being into a condition, name of a process, or a result. So you can figure out what words mean if you know what the root of the word means as a verb. And 
Remember, the first syllable before the ending will be stressed in words that end with shun. That means the vowel in that syllable will have a tone, usually a short vowel tone. You'll notice that we always had a vowel tone right before the shun ending in all of the words that we practiced. And in the case of Asian, Asian, and Ocean, the vowel just before the T-I-O-N is long. There is no consonant between the vowel and the ending, which makes the vowel an open vowel, and therefore it sounds long. I-T-I-O-N, on the other hand, is not a long vowel. It retains the short vowel sound of I, but it still is a stressed syllable. So in the exercises you just practiced, the following ideas were presented to you. I hope you learned how to locate the ending for T-I-O-N, C-I-O-N, or S-I-O-N, and that you recognize that the vowel just before the ending was long if it was an A and short if it was an I. You knew that the next syllable back from the ending is from the stressed syllable is unstressed, and it works that way on every other syllable. A vowel in an unstressed syllable sounds like a. Uh. Vowels are either turned off or they're on. So you have the syllable ending or the suffix ending, and then before that it's on, and the one next to that is off, and then it's on again. So T-I-O-N, S-I-O-N, C-I-O-N, T-I-A-N, S-I-A-N, and C-I-A-N all follow that pattern. That makes up a lot of other words that we have in the English language. So come back again soon and we'll study some other endings. Have a great day.